feel free to start. Okay, great. Hi. Hi. Hey, hi. <laughs> um, so I'll get right on it. Um, have any of you, had any of you read the books before you uh, got the roles? Yeah, I had read, uh, I think I had read the first book and the third book. And uh, while I was auditioning, I think I just sped through them. And I was like, straight away, I was like, oh, I hope I get this job. I really want to be a part of it. And so it's been great to, to sort of just film season two and, and, and attack book two and also know, you know, possibly where else it could go. You know, I think there's Ruman's case, right, in book four out of five. But I I just love the fact that how Patrick has, you know, elevated everything. And it's not easy to adapt from a book, but also made, because the books are a little bit dated. I love how he's made it very modern and very current and has not shied away from you know all the issues that are going on in the Met Police, you know, and uh, and yeah, and then season two for us, I think, has it's got much darker and even more authentic and real. How about the um, I actually hadn't read any of the books. Um, I I got cast really late, actually, um, the first season, so there was just no time. <laughs> right. um, and I think also you know, obviously speaking to Patrick at length about the story and about Lizzie's character. Lizzie's a very different, I think the Lizzie in the the book compared to the Lizzie in um, the, the, the series is a very different Lizzie. And I just thought, I'm thinking, oh, I don't know if it's going to serve me to, to read um, the books and read that character. Um, because I think what Patrick's written on the page for this series and has done really, really well. Um, and what I'm bringing to this character is just a very different personality to, I think, what existed, um, what existed in the, in the books. Okay, Gemma? Um, no, I had not read them. I wasn't aware of them, but when I got the call to audition, I read some of book one to get a feel of things. And then once I was cast, I got the first scripts. I started reading them and then I went back to the book. And then I got really confused as to what was the book and what was the script. I thought this isn't serving me very well. And so um, Jim, our director, Jim Loach in the first season, he, uh, he said, don't read any more. I'm gonna tell you some pertinent information that will help you and then just stick with the scripts. So he told me some really decent pertinent information. And um, yeah, I sort of stuck with that really. But I, yeah, I mean, I like many people, I, I have children and I haven't read a book in a long time unless I'm paid to read it out loud as a audiobook narrator. So, <laughs> so I haven't read them since, although I'm very curious and keen to. Um, one, one day I'll get around to it, but currently right. considerations will have to do. Yeah, well, that's helpful. That you know, probably the director read ten thousand times anyway. So <laughs> yeah, exactly. gave me what I needed. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, so, Gemma, uh, what do you and Sarah have in common, uh, if anything? Oh, I think I have a lot in common with her. I think I'm very. Um, I, I'm a bit of a. I always was a bit of a good girl. Toed the line. Do things by the book. You know, the rule book. Don't stray. Um, and I and I really recognize that sort of tenacity in her to sort of perform it to the absolute letter to the book. And, you know, yeah, I, I sort of recognize that sort of quality in myself. Um, and yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah, her moral compass is, you know, pretty straight. And I try to be pretty straight as well. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like her, she was relatable to me, certainly. When I read, when I first read her, I was like, oh, I think I know who this woman is. You know, it's the best of my interpretation. I thought, I think, I think I could, I think I know who she is, and I could play her. So, yeah, I was fortunate to get cast. Great. Uh, I I watched both seasons uh, th this week. I I really enjoyed enjoyed the show. Um, Thank you. Back to um, back. Uh, yeah, I watched the this... preparation. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's not. It, fortunately, it's not one of those twenty episode shows. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm on board with this. This is it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
Um, uh, Jimmy, uh, I have to say, I love your character in Bel Air. He's really cool. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, what do you like best about playing Steve? Um, what I love Steve, I love Steve's a bit of a, he's just a, I love how real and gruff he is. Do you know what I mean? He doesn't, he doesn't suffer fools. He's just, he sees and hears everything. Um, and, and I love, I can see sort of the, the potential and he's seen so much and he's so, he's so hungry to, to do the right thing and, and do his job to the best of his ability. So I'm, it's almost like I can see the potential in him and, uh, whether or not, you know, he gets offered an opportunity in season two. And I think, you know, that possibly could unlock a whole nother side to Steve. And so it's just that it's just a joy just to play him and just to find lots of different colors within him. Okay, and uh, Tahira, I, I'm pronouncing that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, what do you find most challenging about playing the role of Lizzie this season? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. What did I find most challenging? I think what I had to keep on reminding myself of was that, and even, you know, obviously as actors, I think we filmed that maybe two, I want to say two years ago, something like that. Um, and actually this, in story time, it's about six weeks or something between um, the end of, of season one and, season, and the beginning of season two. And I think for me, I had to keep on reminding myself that she, like Lizzie's just witnessed, you know, I don't know, seven, eight weeks ago, two months ago, she's witnessed two people fall off a tower and hit the ground. Like that is an extremely traumatic thing for anybody to witness. So it was the, I think the thing that I found most challenging was to, to, to keep on tapping into that and to keep on carrying that with me, you know, throughout kind of the entire shoot. Um, I think that even when, she, you know, maybe has moments of levity that is still, you know, somewhere in her, in her mind. Right. Um, and can any of you share any uh, fun behind the scenes stories about making the show? Do you know, I, I, was, I was actually watching um, episode four last night and then I ended up re-watching the entire series. But I remember I was, <laughs> so I was watching um, the scene, there's a scene where, you know, me and Gemma have to wear these, like, what are they called? Like the, the kind of... <laughs> Yeah, but you wore it so stylishly. Like me and Jerry were watching it. Like, why did no one tell me? Like to hear it's just got this beautiful oh. frame. Like, oh, the, like the, the crime scene thing. Yeah. <laughs> kind of outfits, right? And I was, I was looking at Jerry. Like, why has she got it pulled up? So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they used the take when it was all bunched up, not when I learned from you. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, I remember. I watched that scene and it, it's it's awful. Like it's really horrendous. No, no, I can see. <laughs> that was like cracking up the whole time. And I've got so many photos so you know on set we were like, let we got a take, we've got to get photos in these like weird <laughs> condoms. You did it beautifully like, <laughs> around here and a little bit undone. So it's just like just frame things perfectly. And it's like I feel like it's typically Sarah and Lizzie. Like Sarah's like, I've got to wear it properly. <laughs> offer like a little apple <laughs> down here and then just like produce them. <laughs> this really serious final scene and like so here is just relaxing in the bed I'm like just trying to climb over all these props and just get to these grapes and the props don't get in the trouble for not buying enough don't eat the grapes don't eat them don't eat the grapes <laughs> yeah 
I would thought the grapes were strange. Is that some British thing? You bring grapes to somebody in the hospital? Yeah. Grapes to the hospital. Yeah. yeah. Grapes, oh, grapes, grapes, bananas. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's that's a very British thing, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Lucas. There was a Luke. Find a line being have a grape. It's, it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Here, me and Jerry absolutely had the conversation. Jerry's like. Why do you look so weird? What is to hear you so like? <laughs> No one told me. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, yeah. 